Hello YouTube, Steve O Trucker here. Seeing how long we've got recording, it should be okay. Well, um, today I want to talk about getting your ADR license or how you go about getting it, which isn't isn't really that hard to do. It just costs money, unless your employer is really keen on you getting it in the compensate you'll pay for it. Generally you go to a school, so I done mine at Witchy's Training up in Glasgow I believe it was called. But I think they might be still in business, don't ask me, but there's just Google it, ADR training or ADR license, I've even Googled it and you get a load of uh, courses come up. I suggest make sure you obviously you've done got your licenses, you must when you go to these, uh, do your training, have your licenses with you. You also get four modules for your CPC on average through the training. Even though it's a five day course, you get four days CPC. The reason why you don't get the fifth day is because it's test day. You will learn everything you need to know about ADR over the course. So don't worry about before having to study a ton. I find it's easier just to do it on the course because then your brain's constantly thinking about it, you're not getting false information, you know, you're, you're just going to be taught straight from the from the instructor, which it is a very bland course, I think it's like seven modules, I think, within the course, as if you do almost your full ADR. To do your nuclear and explosives because that's on average you won't get your nuclear explosives with your average ADR you I think there's only like two centers in the UK that do it it's either something like Southampton I think and don't hold me to it and there's one up north somewhere there might be more but it's really hard to get those two modules so if you have to so I'm checking that where offloads going okay doesn't seem to be any dramas if you have those two modules, you have to look into it further. I've never got those two modules, so I can't even remotely say, look, go there, go here. It'd be the same sort of process. It's just finding the school that will do it for you. And expect to pay a bit more for you getting those two extra modules as well. I think on average, what I've heard, because it may have changed since I've done mine, because mine expires around now, so... I might renew it, I might not. I'm not in a rush to, anyway. Because I haven't really used a lot, lot of my ADR, to be honest. You know, I've done ADR jobs, but... <laughs> it's just my luck that I haven't really had to do use actually use my ADR that much. I would have liked to use it a bit more, but it is what it is. Um, as I say, I suggest if you want to get your ADR, obviously make sure you've got your licences ready. And I suggest, I don't think you have to have your heavy goods, but don't, don't hold it to me. But I suggest you have your licenses. I've done all my training after I've done my rigid. So it makes sense for you to have your vehicle license first, because then it will get added onto your CPC. Or well, at least a license. I don't know how it fully works. You may have to query with DVSA reference if you could do it if you're in the process of getting trained up from just having a car license up to a class one driver so i don't confuse things but i'm taking it as you've got your heavy goods already you're wanting to do your adr it's as simple as phoning up all these training centers i suggest read the reviews that'd be my biggest suggestion of each training center find the one that's nearest to you ideally if you want to travel travel in happy days i end up going up to glasgow to do mine because I done my class one at the same time. And you'd be looking in the region around 500 pounds, give or take, maybe 400 for your full ADR. I don't suggest getting a Pacific module, doing, so I think you can just do a Pacific module as your ADR. To me, that's pointless, just do your full ADR and you're covered. I don't class for ADR as being with explosive nuclear, that's like your complete ADR, that's like the uber ADR to have, but expect to pay out and there probably is a long queue to get on that course. 
and if I was doing that I would want to know I'm employed to do it do a job that requires that ideally you know because otherwise it's a lot of effort to get those extra two modules if you're not going to end up using them doesn't matter about the other modules because it's within the week and you learn about it within the week it, it's basically death by PowerPoint for a week with a test at the end that's the hard bit is the test the test was originally paper then it went on to computer tests I've heard it's gone back to paper but don't hold me to it last time I done it it was when it moved on to the computer but I have heard since it's gone back to paper maybe it's dependent where you do it if it's up in Scotland or down here in England but it's still valid if you did Scotland or down here but aside from that you know it's it's not it's not as complex as you might think it'll be to get your ADR a lot it's all about just going on the week-long course or if you go in the shortened course because you're just doing one module or whatever you're aiming to do but I suggest go for your full module so your full seven modules I believe don't hold it to me so that'd be like your in tanks exp uh, not exposed to flammable liquids chemicals I've got the whole list because I'm really rusty I'm not gonna dare put out too much information on that front I know the symbols all going to be changing so you'll probably learn all the new symbol symbiology during the course as well everything you learn in the course you're given the book during the whole week if you have a good go to a good school and just study study and study during the whole week as long as you get yourself past that test and um, once you pass you, you normally find well it's depend which one you do if you do the paper one you might not find out if you pass sometimes if you're a good instructor they might go for it go yep yeah, you have definitely passed or no other time on the computer I think they can tell you straight away if you passed which is kind of cool and you get your license within a matter of a week or two it's like getting your license from after your passing it's pretty, pretty quick really yeah aside from that it's as simple as that it's nothing to get worried about if it's something you want to go and do it is worth doing I'm not saying it isn't worth doing when I said I haven't really used it much but I would say it's depending what you're using it for if you know you're going to get your money's worth out of it or I used it as to make myself a bit more employable even though I end up not using a huge amount of it so that's why I'm not in a rush to renew it at the moment I might do it just purely for the CPC value and it just gives me an extra bow in my quiver at the end of the day even though in my current job we don't really do ADR so not on my side of the company anyway <laughs> I might do you never know but as I said there's nothing to get worried about there is a lot of resources out there but I suggest book yourself into school, do the week-long course and test at the end and you're laughing your head off. That's what I recommend. It's the most simplest and the easiest way of doing it. The, I think, the, don't hold me to it, there was a book lurking about that you could get. But I suggest go on the course, do the course, then worry about getting the book for reference after you've actually learned what you're looking at. Because otherwise you look at it, you'll pick up some of it, but other, other bits should be like... <laughs> it might confuse you you don't get confused before you get on the course because listen what the instructor teaches you it is it's going to be very bland some of it but take it on take as much as you can not if you have a good instructor he flies by but it's like anything really so hopefully that's been helpful if you want more information about being ADR just please message me down below I will try and reply to you as best as I can. Bear in mind, I haven't done ADR for over five years, so I am pretty rusty, as you can man imagine. But my recommendation would be to book yourself on a course. So Google it online. I said I used Richie's Training Centre up in Glasgow. That's the guys I used. But there might be cheaper options. There might be an option right next door to your house almost. You know, you never know. So it's best to Google what's in your area for doing ADR. Aside from that, there's not much more I can say about it really. It's, 
about just basically having a ticket to do some, allow you to do a certain type of work. It's handy if you get to use it, and it can give you a bit extra pay sometimes, but it doesn't pay as much as you might think extra. Some depend what work you're going into. So I'm not here to put you off doing ADR. Crack on! It, it, it is a good course to do. Just it's not one to fear. It's just if you've got the money, do it. So it's around £500 for the course. It's a five day course, all in all, including the test. I don't know what the score will be if you fail the test, though. I think that might be down to your school you go down to, what their policy is. They might have a reduced test fee or they might reset you the same day. You know, most people pass it, you know. Especially if you've got a good instructor, the chances are that most of the class, if not all the class, will pass. So it's not like your driving test, it's not as a wild card, so it's, you'll get out of it as much as you put into it. That's that's the key thing. I mean, there will be resources, but I suggest if you have the resources to learn before, is when you do the research of which school you want to go to, they will, if you go to a good school, generally if there is a resource to use, they will recommend a resource they would like you to use because it'd be the one they'll probably be teaching you off. So I'm just uh, so I'm tipping at the moment, so I'm just uh, <laughs> making sure you got a uh, bulker tipping in the background as well. Yeah, so aside from that, you know, as I said, there is not much more for me to say, you know. I said if you have any questions comment down below hopefully this has been reasonably helpful it's a bit bland I know but ADR is a very bland thing to do I might have to pop up some ADR signs to jazz this up <laughs> but yeah I said I can't really help you much more than that sadly um, I can don't just say do you research in terms of Googling where your test centres are, get in touch with the ones you're happy with, get the best one to give you the best quote for pricing. And once you're happy with which one you want to go to, maybe ask, so is there any resources you would recommend for me before I go on this course, on whatever, when they book you in. Obviously, when you go on the course, make sure you've got your licence with you because it will require your driver's licence number as well. And if you. Uh, don't, and also the need your details to put on to your CPC thing scheme as well. So the same as doing your CPC courses as well. You need to make sure you've got your driver's licence with you. Aside from that, thank you very much for watching. As I said, if you want to comment, comment down below. Has this been helpful or not? You know, I do apologise that I'm a bit rusty. It's just been an awful long time since I've, uh, or it feels like an awful long time since I've last done one. You know, it's only five years ago, but I said I haven't used it a huge amount, so I'm not going to try and teach you symbolology of it. If I do, I'm going to have to learn it all again myself. Because I, if I were to do that, I might as well do my ADR again, and then. But as I said, you'll learn that on your course. You will learn it on the course. And the key thing is just when you book yourself on the course, go on the course with an open mind as like any sort of academic sort of course. It's not like a degree or anything like that you're doing, it's just a bit like doing your theory tests. Just on a bigger scale with a lot more information. And you'll think, how am I going to remember all this information? But if you learn it properly and you work hard that week, it will all sort of slot in as you do the test. So hopefully that's been helpful. Uh, if you haven't subbed, please consider subbing. To all those who have subbed, thank you very much. It is seriously very much appreciated. Also, like if you like, dislike if you not dislike. Also, check out my Facebook and my Twitter. I mainly use Facebook, by the way, so if you wonder why Twitter gets left behind, that's why. I still do stuff on Twitter, just mm, a small amount, really, in comparison. But thank you very much for watching. Over and out.